Christian, uh, Germany at the Warwick headquarters. Look at all these super tight Warwick rigs, famous rigs. Well, the Marshalls just got here by accident. But what the Jonas Halborg famous $20,000 base rig, two power amps, preamp designed after a need pre. So if you want like super focus and all, all that. But what is this? This is the heaviest base ever made. This is the first Jonas Halborg prototype base when he switched to Warwick. I mean, I don't know, it says 99, but I don't think they made 99 of them. It's somewhere around here. Oh yeah, 0001, 2007. So you see that. In 2007, these dudes joined forces and Jonas had some ideas about a base. And this was the shape he came up with. And he said to me, he said, yeah, I wanted it solid wood, this body, because if it was hollow body, it would feed back. I know that because I have one. It does feedback when you know you play in rock situations. But the problem when it's solid is this dude weighs like 30 pounds. And I'm not exaggerating. It weighs as much as Thundercat's base. It's a shoulder buster, and you can hear it. That sucker is solid. solid. <laughs> Whatever the fuck the wood is, but it's a solid dude. So things have changed on the Jonas bases. I don't know what pickup this is, but this must have been something that he was into. But he, after, since then, he designed his own pickups that have like 21 windings, so it's incredibly low output, which creates a bunch of other problems. But if you're in the studio and you're going into a knee desk or whatever, your SSL, you can go straight from the bass into the console, and then that doesn't matter. And you know, you just, you know, set it up, and it's like insane the articulation that you get out of the bass. That's why I wanted to actually. Get, that's why I flipped to, uh, to War, Warwick bases because I wanted one of these. And mine, unfortunately, I was hoping to do a video while I was here, but I can't because Jonas has it up in Sweden because he's got to fix the pickups because they were never properly, properly wired correctly. I don't know. And the difference between mine and his is he only has a bridge pickup. I have a bridge and a neck position pickup. I wanted two pickups because I go for more upright shit. He plays all weird, you know, like the real nasally Jocko Tony stuff. I like big bass shit like Robbie Shakespeare, so I wanted a, a neck pickup. So I did, but that created all these problems. So Jonas has the bass, it's in Sweden, he's mailing it to me Friday, I leave Saturday, so I'm never gonna see the bass until I finish touring. I'll see it in November. But yours isn't as, yours isn't solid. Mine's not solid either. He, that, this is the only one that's solid. After that, they said, we gotta go hollow body. So uh -huh. mine is hollow body. Um, and I've posted photos and stuff, and hopefully I'll eventually do a video if I ever get it. My base has been three years in the making, and it's still not done. Um, and it's not because Warwick doesn't know what they're doing. It's because what Jonas does is very innovative and ahead of everybody. And so there's nobody there with him to, to create the stuff that he wants. He there's a lot of TLC going into fire And a lot of R&D. I mean, he, does, he did research and design for years on this thing. So this is 2007, and I don't think he perfected the instrument until probably 2000, when did I meet him? 2012, I think, so, or 11, something like that. Anyway, so that was four or five years after I met him, and I didn't now, it's like two, it's, this thing was 2007, it's now 2017, so 10 years later, I'm finally about to own one. So anyway, enough rap about it, see what it sounds like with the Jonas Helmore preamp that he designed. He designed all this. He probably even wired all this. It looks like, like an Apple product. Dude, he is a G, and these are his cabs. So here we go. <laughs> Two inches, not 34. So it's medium scale, and I just hope you can hear that. It's just it's easier to play this thing because it just has articulation. It might has more now because I have the correct pickup, and this pickup's pretty cool though. You can hear your fingers hit the string. Everything is even. Like if you looked at it on a on a meter, it would just be like that. I mean, this 
He did a great job. He's a fucking genius. This is the Jonas Helborg custom base that I think they've only made 10 of. And I think you can get one still, but you have to custom order through the custom shop. They don't sell it in stores. Okay, now wait a second. Oh, what's up, Nick? Bonus. Oh, so bonus. Dear. Oh, this is a Warwick. Is this a dolphin? I think this is a, is it, does it say dolphin or whatever the fuck it is? It goes really this well. It's Master Built Custom Shop. It goes really well with that shirt. Thank you, sir. And you know what? If you were on acid, this is the base you would want. Mushrooms. Actually, it's more of a mushroom bed. Mushroom. But check the... Look at that. Check the wood on this. Ew. Check the... Hey, tuning keys? Wood. Look at this. Marcus, the guy who builds these suckers here. Oh, these are these pickups. I guess they're their own pickups. Um, <coughs> I bet Jonas designed these. But PJ... I mean, it probably sounds good, but it's got a preamp and it'll blow that rig up, I'm sure. Oh, oh, right, right. I don't ever play active pickups, so I won't even plug it in. <laughs> but, yeah, why are we out here doing ridiculous paint jobs? <laughs>